Hello guys, and uh, welcome back to another video. Um, today, I'm going to be attempting to try to explain to you guys how to level up uh, in your power level faster in Fortnite of the World. So, um, first thing you want to do, okay, so wait, actually I'll just explain. This is my, these are my survivor squads, as you can see I'm power 130, so almost maxed. But, as you can see these things at the bottom, uh, so where I am, sorry, I wish I had like a cursor or something like that, but um, uh, on the highlighted box at the bottom it says like personality match range weapon or range damage bonus trap damage stuff like that those things are when you're looking at a person you see in the bottom it says set bonus range damage bonus uh and it's also the right tile of the two in the bottom left like uh or bottom right corner of like each card you can call it uh so the bottom right card the second one to the right so the very one to the right that one doesn't really matter a whole lot. Don't worry about that. It doesn't contribute to your um, power level. I see. Yeah, it doesn't contribute all to your power level. As you can see, that none of these are matched, and it really doesn't matter. It's not affecting anything. Now, the main thing you want to focus on is your leaders. So, as you can see, he is power level 270. He is giving 270 towards my power level. You can see my power level is 130 and 3 out of 5. If I change him to even another mythic, who is uh, max level, so this guy's max level. But he only gives 135. Look at that. I'm down to 128 from 130. He took me all down almost two whole power levels just by changing one person. Because he doesn't fit the personality trait. So this, as you can see at the top, it's EMT squad. And as you can see, this guy is a doctor. At the bottom of this card that you can see, leader match doctor. Now that is one of the most important things in this game. To level up power levels. You have to put in the right lead survivors for the team. So it says EMT squad, therefore you put in an e or a EMT character or a doctor. This guy at the bottom says engineer, so he's not going to fit a doctor role. Therefore, not only will he put uh, the leader down 135 power levels, because he's at, this guy's 270, and this guy only be 135, he also changes all the power levels of your survivors in that squad. So as you can see, these guys are all power level 128 right now. But if I put it back in the right guy, they're 138 now. So that takes down... 135 at the start and then 10 for each of these guys that's crazy like that's really affecting your power level so always make sure to watch those lead survivors and make sure you have them in the right spots autofill i don't recommend putting in autofill you always want to if you can either find a high power level to do your squad for you or do it yourself because for example i'll show you actually i'll just i've never done this before so it'll take me a while to refine my people but turn on off autofill do you want to turn on autofill confirm so that's power 130, remember guys. With your highest power survivors. Clear refill with your highest power survivors. Now, since I'm at such a high power level, I'm not sure if this will really affect it much. Oh, it did. Look at that. Autofill took me down all th more than three power levels. Look at this. They didn't even put any uh, survivors matched. Like, they put all my lead survivors matched. But then the normal survivors, look at these guys. They're all red most of them are red because they just put random people in random places this is why it's so important to have like somebody else do them or yourself do them because you can't think of a computer you have to know to put this guy here because he's the leader match and then put everybody based on what he is so for example this guy is analytical it says you have to match all these guys to be analytical too sadly the computer doesn't do this so look at that it took down more than three levels from me that is how important this is, like turning off autofill, matching the bonuses. So that's the first part of uh, getting your power level, is putting the lead survivors in and then matching all your normal survivors with the bonus this guy. So as you can see, the computer did not do that. So if I want to change them, I'm going to turn off autofill and then I'd find, and I'd just reset. I'm just going to reset all my squads because I'll have to redo them anyways. Sadly, um, worth it for to show you guys how bad autofill is, I guess. Um, next part of it is leveling them up. So as you can see, all my people are level 100, or 50, which is max you can get. It's, you can see 50 of 50, 50 of 50 on all these guys. So that is the second, well, basically, I guess you call the first, so most important thing, because you need them to be high level in order to, well, love power up. So what you wanna do is, normally what I do, is so i guess i'll just take a random person doing this all for you guys i'll just clear slots i'm lazy but anyways 
Um, you also want to do your um, SSDs in order to get like unlock all the slots. Because it's annoying me on all slots. But for example, if I have, I don't know, this person right here. I'm power 120 and a little bit. As you can see, if I upgrade her, you can see it's not doing a whole lot. Sorry if my, um, okay, it just decides to freeze me. Alright, um, I'm just gonna try to, need to be able to level up to show you guys. Sorry, it's a bit laggy sometimes. This game is not exactly the smoothest of all games. But as you can see, my, in the top left, my power level is going up bit by bit. Every single time I upgrade her. But now what happens when I evolve her? So, evolving is one of the main things. You can see I'm um, over on one bar in it. Click circle and click evolve. Look at how much this upgrades it. It upgraded it a decent amount. Normally it'll do more, but since she's only probably 20, it didn't really do a whole lot. The point is, these matter a lot. So I guess, I guess I'll upgrade her fully. I'm wasting all my stuff, but I really don't care. I'm trying to explain this to you guys. Um, but if you upgrade her fully, I wish that this was so much quicker. I am so sorry, guys. This takes, it's like torture for me too. Uh, but basically, the more you upgrade someone, oh my gosh, game, come on. Can you not like do like mass upgrade or something? Boom, but yeah, that did more. But the point is, the farther that you upgrade them, the, and every single ev evolution that you do, like every star, it's gonna give you more and more torch power level. So if you only have like a certain amount of, for example, survivor XP, I've had this, uh, I guess, difficulty in the past where I've only had like 100,000 survivor XP, right? If you only have like 100,000 survivor XP, you want to look for uh, the people who you can evolve. If you have all the resources and everything, you want to look for the person who you can evolve because that gives more than just upgrading them and it costs the same amount of survivor XP. So always do that. Always look for who you can evolve. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that's all you really need to know about it. Just keep on grinding those evolution materials. Um, I guess I can explain to you. So basically for the evolution materials, you're going to want to, if you want to grind those, for example, if you need a lot of pure drops for inner lightning in a bottle, you're going to want to go to around, if you're not entwined yet, don't worry. You can find these good things in, uh, canny, or I don't link many in Plankton, but as you can see, these ones that have these, um, how do I zoom in? Sorry. There you go. Okay. So as you can see these ones, it has the four little people underneath the evacuate the shelter, like the shelter with the up barrel, has the four little people. That means it's a four person recommended zone. That means it's gonna give you four times of something. So as you can see in the bottom left, I don't know why it cut off a little bit, but you can see the survivor XP little uh, logo thing. I'll try to find a better one that maybe doesn't block it off. Another four person one right here. This one blocks off completely. You can't even see what it is at all. I don't know why it's like this. There we go, this one right here, perfect. You can see in the bottom left, it has the survivor XP thing right beside the gold thing. So you always look, want to look for there if you find a four person uh, recommended one. This means it's gonna give you four times survivor XP. So if a normal mission of Ride the Lightning gave you 50,000 survivor XP, four times 50,000 is 200,000 survivor XP. So basically it takes whatever the rewards normally would be and times it by four. These are great for if you're wanting to farm uh, well, Survivor XP for one, uh, Pure Drops of Rain, Lightning in a Bottle, anything like that. And these always reset uh, every day at the exact same time. Uh, for me, it's 8 o'clock. Uh, I'm not sure what time it would be for you guys, because everybody's in different time zones, obviously. But these are perfect for farming. So, for example, I'll show you Twine. So, basically, twine, Low Twine is actually a really good place. So, there you are, Survivor XP. That, that can give up for, it's like, 500,000 Survivor XP kind of thing. If you get lucky... But some of these, normally there's really good ones. Like sometimes there's a pure drop of rain or a lightning in a bottle uh, near the bottom, which is really useful. That one gives 102 pure drop of rain, not even from uh, four times, which would be as, uh, as a normal reward, a one-time reward. So that's really good. But as, yeah, that, this one right here, perfect. It gives a lot of uh, epic and legendary perk up. That's perfect. I love doing those kind of missions. But the point is that these are very important, these four-person ones, because they help you get evolution materials and even schematic XP to upgrade your survivors. And that is the main priority that you want to do in this game. Because as you can see, survivors matter a lot. So for example, if I cleared everything, keep in note, I was 120, but these all filled in with autofill. I was 130, filling them in myself. This is going to be a long time to uh, put in all my survivors again, because I didn't take a picture or anything. So I don't know. Doing it for science, though, guys. Doing it for science. 
Yeah, but my point is, here, I was power of 130 without survivors. Obviously, my research is maxed. I could go into my research and reset that, but that's also another way you can upgrade your power level. You want to go to your research, and you want to max all these out. So you want to go for the... Yeah, basically just max those out. It's a lot of work, and it's very time-consuming. There's nothing you can do to speed it up, sadly. So, for all you people who want to grind, like, power 131 really quickly, there's no way to do that. I'm sorry to tell you. I wish there was, but it helps keep the game for people committed. I don't know why I went to my heroes, my bad. Um, but as you can see, I'm power 77, and that's not even without taking away all my heroes. 66. We're only at 55 now. Oh, 53. So look at that, guys. So I went from a power level 130, almost max in this game, to power level 53 without my survivors. That is how big of a deal survivors mean in this game. And I'll show you how big lead survivors mean. How good lead survivors are. So from I was 53, and I'll put in all my best lead survivors in each slot. Who I had in there to start begin with. Pretty sure I remember I didn't have you, I had you. But the point is that these m are very important. All survivors are very important. Yeah, I just went up how many power levels? I was at 53 and I'm now going to be around what, 73, 74, 75? 72. Ugh. Thought I'd be a bit higher. Oh, okay, I did it one more. Okay, never mind. I'll be around 75. Oh, I was right, dead on. So I. I went up around like 20 power levels just by putting the lead survivors. Then if you can connect like all the normal survivors, like squad members to the lead survivor, you can be power of 130. Just like I was, obviously. But the point is, lead survivors, normal survivors, and research. Those are the three main points of this game and how to upgrade your power level. Um, that's legit it. That's how you upgrade your power level. Um, you have to, yes, a lot of the time you're going to have to buy upgrade llamas or people llamas or stuff like that just to get the survivors I want it to be it's a very time consuming it's very annoying you have to wait each day unless you just want to spend thousands of e bucks which i wouldn't recommend i don't do that but teach down yes but um i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i've put quite a bit of work in it seeing as now i have to redo all my survivor squads but uh really hope this helped you guys um take care see you